the patient or your how your relative can actually observe the other people who have gone through chemotherapy and how they have fought back. Hello everyone, in my last video I discussed about the questions that came from the topic of learning in uh, 2024. Um, this time I'll be discussing about the questions that uh, will be coming from 2023. So let's start. Uh, in 2024 we had uh, three questions and in 2023 we are going to have uh, two questions from uh, learning. Now uh, what was uh, the question all about? So the first question uh, from 2023 was that your relative is going through a chemotherapy, right? Through chemotherapy, how your knowledge about learning theories will be helpful. Now understand that uh, even though your uh, paper 2 of psychology is talking about application path and paper 1 is more about theories, but even if you see the questions, it is talking about what the application path. Now this question is actually, uh, you know, testing whether you have learned the topic of learning or not. Why? Because if you, uh, you know, go through the analysis of learning, you will find that there are various uh, ways, you know, certain things could be learned. So if uh, the person or the patient or your relative who is going through chemotherapy, right, and uh, how your knowledge about uh, learning theories will be helpful. Now understand that chemotherapy is a very, uh, you know, a very, very uh, hard process and it's a very sturdy process. Now when the person goes through chemotherapy, um, they kind of uh, lose a lot of, um, you know, self-worth and um, they deal with uh, the issues of, uh, you know, mood swings and also they are not able to handle themselves emotionally. Why? Because uh, the process is very sturdy. So now the question is asking that how are you going to you know influence the learning of that person or how are you going to inculcate those things in the mind of that patient who is going through chemotherapy through your um, you know uh, knowledge of learning so first you need to know that you need to describe uh, what learning is all about and after that they say that how your knowledge so now you have to focus on your knowledge part about what learning theories now, what is your knowledge about learning? So you need to understand that uh, in learning chapter, you must have, uh, you know, read about what observational learning. Right. So what you can do is you can explain about observational learning. That means uh, how the patient or your, how your relative can actually observe the other people who have gone through chemotherapy and how they have fought back uh, from this, uh, you know, therapy and how did they evolve and how did they gain their own self-worth. So you can uh, talk about observational learning. Then at the same time, you can uh, talk about uh, humanistic perspective. Humanistic perspective of learning. Now, humanistic perspective of learning is talking about what? For example, mass laws. Right? You can quote about uh, mass law. That means uh, uh, how the patient should actually learn that what is important for that person at that point of time. So at that point of time, the patient requires the chemotherapy, which is important for the survival and in order to live the life, uh, you know, uh, beyond this. So it should not be something that is an end of your life, but it's something that um, you should realize your self-worth and move further. So uh, here, humanistic perspective will also work about. Now, you can also talk about uh, CBT. CBT is what? Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. Now under Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, what is happening is you are trying to influence what the behavior of the person. Right? Since I said that the process is very sturdy, so instead of, uh, you know, seeing it as uh, something which is uh, going to take a lot from you emotionally also and psychologically also, you can also make that person learn, uh, you know, change or you can change the person's behavior by uh, going through this process of CBT, that is Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. 
other than that you can also explore the concept of Gotsky. Gotsky's theory of learning. Now under uh, all these, now they, these are like multiple theories of learning from which uh, you can influence the mind of the person. That means a person who is getting towards a very negative uh, mindset or a very negative orientation can actually uh, move towards a positive mindset considering that, uh, you know, life can be um, very good after this also. Why? Because uh, in each of the theories, what they are suggesting is that either you are learning from the examples that are in front of you or you are learning from uh, the research that has been conducted by uh, various, um, you know, philosophers, psychologists, etc. So that way, if you want to attempt this question, what you need to do is that even though the question is very dynamic, it is something which is asking you the application part, but here you have to write all the theory parts that you have studied in your static portion. So under each theory, you are going to explain that how it is going to help you in gaining the self-confidence. Now, when you gain the confidence, the person is going for chemotherapy will not have a very pessimist approach, but will have a very optimistic approach. What? Because after going through this therapy, what happens is that the person is going to have a better life. Why? Because ultimately the person is able to fight um, the disease, which is considered to be very dangerous, right? And here again, you can give the example of uh, various people who have fought back uh, with this uh, disease and went through chemotherapy and have come back stronger. For example, you have that uh, Yurat Singh. Fine. Uh, other than that, you have uh, Punjab's health minister. She herself has, uh, you know, fought from this disease and was going through chemotherapy. Other than that, you have Bollywood actress Sonali Bendre. So this is how you have to attempt this question. Uh, this is just a brief explanation that um, how to go about, how to write and what to write and how to write and how to, you know, uh, connect the dots. For example, uh, these theories, they were asked in, uh, you know, these theories are all static portion. The question is all about a dynamic portion. Now, the next question in 2023 was compare and contrast between what programmed and probability learning. And also highlight their advantages and disadvantages. First, you need to know the difference between program and probability learning, right? Now, what is programmed learning? Programmed learning is a very step-by-step process learning. Other than that, what is program learning? Program learning is a very objective learning, right? So it is a very objective learning. When you come to probability learning, what is happening is here we deal with probability. Here we deal that there is less of rationality. Here you will find there is more of emotive components and again you will find here as subjectivity. Why? Because uh, anything cannot be purely said in probability learning that, uh, you know, this is the result, this is how it is going to happen. We only deal with probability that, okay, the probability of uh, you know success could be this much that means 80 percent 85 percent 90 percent so but in uh, programmed learning what is happening is that everything is programmed and it is through step by step process fine now further moving they said that what is the advantage and disadvantage to it now if i come with the program learning what are the advantages to this program learning now the advantages to the program learning will be you will find instant result. You will find result which are, uh, you know, which could be corrected easily. 
in case if there is uh, anything uh, you know wrong over there so correction or corrected result is possible and this is also happening what through quick process right whereas in uh, probability learning what is happening is here what you find is that the result might be delayed why because we are dealing with probable case other than that uh, correction that means instant correction is possible over here but here you find that uh, what kind of correction you are going to opt for because we are saying we are dealing with probability so anything which is more than 60% you can see okay fine it could be right enough or it you know it it has a case of uh, having good result so in probability learning what is happening is that here we are dealing with percentage fine uh, other than that what i said is it is a quick process but here what you find is it's a time taking process because because here you will have what here you will have a result here you will have a result which you will get in a number format that means a very objective result whether this is true or false whether uh, it is 80 or it is 90 but here in probability learning what is happening is that you are uh, going to put uh, you know light on gray areas as well so that's the thing Right. Now the point is that they said highlight the advantages and disadvantages. Now understand if uh, instant result is possible, good enough. But uh, now the point is that uh, in case if the result is uh, wrong, then what? Then uh, the entire uh, you know programming would be uh, done again. So again, what is happening is either the result is going to be correct or the result is going to be wrong. So there is no case of probability over here. However, in probability learning, what is happening is that uh, since we are dealing with probability there are high chances that uh, uh, whatever result we are going to get uh, we will deal with uh, what probable what probable result would it uh, you know give it out so this is how you have to deal this uh, question and uh, 2023 was uh, about these two questions in next video i will be uh, talking about uh, 2022 uh, again the topic would be learning once i'll get over with uh, learning then i will switch to the other topic thank you so much